This is my attention span, and people say that watching TikTok will destroy it, and I don't believe that at all. So over the next seven days, I'm going to get addicted to TikTok to see if it ruins my attention span. It is day one. I'm not expecting much out of today. I don't expect to get addicted to this app, and today, I didn't even download the app yet, so I'm gonna probably go do that right now. So I hopped on my phone and started to download it, and I realized how quickly you could start scrolling. It literally took me under 10 seconds to get into TikTok. That is so scary. But what was also scary is that once I logged into this new, fresh account it was showing me the same videos and creators i used to watch two years ago on a different account don't think they're not watching you through your camera right now what? anyways the daily average time spent on tiktok is 95 minutes so i have to watch that much every day for seven days and starting out was absolutely ridiculous going from only watching youtube and movies and <laughs> to watching TikTok is a lot harder than you think because your brain isn't used to watching that format. But apparently just after 35 minutes of scrolling, you should be addicted to the app. Really? Do you really think that's- It happened! I'm probably like 45 minutes in, my brain has gotten used to it. That was- that was extremely hard to do. This 35 minute rule, it's true. It actually works. This is gonna be a long experiment. I finished up the rest of my time on the app and oh my god, my brain vanished! I went to go make some lunch and I opened the fridge and just stared into its soul for a while. Huh? I completely forgot what I was doing. I only watched for an hour and a half, but my brain was so tired, I, c I couldn't think! I actually reverted to my base form! So to get my brain engine up and running again, I went in the outside and it really helped my brain get healed. That was an interesting experience. I don't remember anything at all. I don't even remember the video of the day. Here's the video of the day. Hey, do you ever wonder what it would be like if you could be a kite? Well, I do. I don't think my attention span has changed too much. But for tomorrow, we're going to do an experiment. And throughout the entire video, we're going to do a different experiment every single day. Anyways, I'm done. So I went back and lived the rest of my day absolutely fine. And I was actually excited for- Day two! I'm quite excited today because we get to do an experiment. The sound experiment. Basically, I believe that TikTok lives and dies by its music and sounds. So this experiment is to see if you can stay addicted to TikTok without sound. So I'm gonna watch regular TikTok for 15 minutes and then shut the sound off for 15 minutes to see if it makes a difference. And as I was watching my 15 minutes of regular TikTok, I was thinking, you need sound. Like 75% of TikTok is sound. And I was really surprised for when I did watch it without sound because watching TikTok without sound really didn't make a difference. <laughs> I, I thought it would, but I forgot that a lot of these videos have subtitles anyways. So I'm just gonna read the subtitles? Plug. It's ridiculous. It, I don't even need sound to be addicted. Which is pretty bad because it proves that sound doesn't even matter when your brain is hardwired to scroll infinitely. And if you get a clip that needs you to listen, you're just gonna scroll to one that doesn't. There, there is no way out. After I did that experiment, I felt absolutely fine. And later on in the day, I decided to watch some YouTube. And almost immediately, I started watching shorts which I never do. So I went to watch a long form video and I couldn't focus at all. So I just decided to hop on TikTok and grind out my minutes. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a terrible way to watch TikTok, at least for me. The only thing I had to do that day was that experiment, which means me sitting around watching my phone for an hour and a half, which is mentally draining. And I felt like an absolute zombie after look at my eyes. And that is where day two ends. So here's the video of the day. Day three. I decided today that instead of watching all of my TikTok minutes at once, I'm just gonna watch it throughout the day. See how see how that changes me. Anyways, it's time to get to today's experiment, which is the TikTok shop. Now I heard a lot about this shop, but I've never been on it. And I saw this video recently of a YouTuber I've never heard the name of, and some of the stuff looks pretty funny. So my mission was to find the most ridiculous stuff. There's no way Terrell Johnson is selling a Meta Quest for $35. I'm gonna see if they have like a tiny house. No, they're selling houses on. <laughs> could buy a $7,000 house on TikTok. <laughs> oh my god. Like, they, this goes hard. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I if I if I was made of money, I probably still wouldn't buy it. I want to see this furniture shop. Is it Scandinavian Moms? Uh, wait, no, that's not what I was looking at. I was, look I was looking at the sofa. They actually sell furniture on here. Could you buy a house and furnish it just off TikTok shop? I, I, I would do that. What's going on here? What? Who's gonna go around wearing that? Can you buy a pool on here? Oh my God, you can buy a pool. Yeah, just by looking at this, I, there's no way any of this stuff is real. I might buy the house though. 
If you've ever gotten something off of TikTok shop, please let me know. I refuse to believe that people actually get real stuff off there. But anyways, today I actually had stuff to do. So I was watching TikTok in the times where I was waiting to do the next thing. And I found that this was the best way to watch it, at least for me, because I'm just using it as a time killer when I'm waiting for the next thing, like when you're on the toilet, when you're at the wheel driving somewhere, when you're in between sets working out. I'm lying, don't watch it when working out, but you get my point. And it actually made time go so much faster because I was using it as a time I'm killer and not my main form of entertainment. But as the day went on, I started to notice something. I thought this new approach would be much better today, but it's not. Because after you do something, you're, you're just watching TikTok. You're not really processing what you just did and you're not thinking about what you gotta do next. So you're probably gonna forget more and you're probably gonna use it to procrastinate, maybe. I think I need to think of a new way to, to watch this app that can actually be beneficial to me. And so I researched and thought of another way to watch TikTok. And I came to the conclusion that either you have to set a daily limit or TikTok has to implement a permanent one. But obviously they're not gonna do that. And most people are not going to listen to a daily limit. So I think we are probably out of luck. So that's pretty scary, but I finished up my minutes easily and it was actually a pretty spanking day, yo. I don't know what that means. But it was a good day, so here's the video of the day. Day four. I'm not using a microphone because I dropped my phone in the toilet. I figured that watching all of my time at once is better than watching it throughout the day. I just want to get it over with. Today's experiment is the TikTok Live tab. Which I've heard is notorious for some of the craziest things to ever be seen by mankind. And virtual panhandlers. And I was really interested, so I hopped into the tab and started scrolling. And I actually didn't even see anything too crazy, but I did narrow down the three TikTok Live metas. Number one, the gamer. Literally just a streamer playing a game and probably streaming on other platforms as well. Number two, the ASMR ones. These people who whisper into the microphone and write people's names in sand, I don't know. And number three, the radio stations. These are stay at home moms for the most part who take music requests and play them on a speaker in the background. Usually these people are out here asking for weird TikTok gifts which are worth real money. But my only question is who is watching these? Do you watch TikTok live stream? But after scrolling on the live tab for 20 minutes, I realized it's better to scroll on the For You page to get crazy live streams. Cause after I went back to the For You page, I saw this guy getting sturdy. I don't know what he's doing, he's going great. But as I said, I was gonna sit there and watch 95 minutes of TikTok in a row. And it was good because my For You page was pretty good, but it was what happened after I stopped watching, which was bad. I think this, this app is just drugs. It gives my brain a good feeling for a while and then after it's just like <laughs> So it, it actually might have a pretty bad effect on my attention span. I have no idea. While, I, while I'm here, I'll give you the video of the day. All right, how do you and your hardball cages from Lakerland plan to put the lid on Luka Doncic and his razzmatazz hop skiddly do on the money making end of the court? I don't know if we can stop the rash gas kicking the dude. And the rest of the day wasn't very good. I honestly wanted to give up because it shouldn't be affecting my mental state that much, right? And when it got to the evening, I tried watching longer YouTube videos, but I just kept losing focus. So I felt like my attention span and my entire brain were just gone. And I just wanted to get this experiment over with. Day five. We got two days left. Yeah, yesterday was not a good day. Like w watching that much TikTok all at once really messed me up. I, I thought watching it all at once would be the best way to do it. It's not. I'm not doing that. I just feel like a waste of a human if I just watch it all at once. I'm just gonna watch it throughout the day. But we got our second to last experiment, which is the new creator experiment. A lot of people say TikTok is amazing for new creators because it's so easy to blow up and start a career on that. So I wanted to test that by counting the amount of videos from new creators that I see versus already established ones. So I sat there for 30 minutes and took tallies of every single video and creator I saw. I'm just gonna show you the results. Here's the grand total. One off creators. <laughs> Established creators. Now, I don't know if it's just like this session that it gave me 44 established creators and only four one off creators. People always say TikTok is really good at promoting small creators. I don't know about that. Somebody's lying. Somebody's got to be. This news was not good for tomorrow's experiment, but we're gonna go along with it anyways. So I went along with my day and watched my TikTok minutes diligently until an absolute disaster class that pissed me off and ruined my entire day. I am so unbelievably pissed off at myself right now. My days sometimes 
are busy, sometimes I have absolutely nothing to do. Today was one of those days I didn't have that much to do, except for one thing that I hold near and dear to my heart, which is making pulled pork. Had to go in the oven at a specific time. I was trusted to do it. I was watching TikTok instead. It's supposed to be dinner for tonight. I am so disappointed in myself. I'm ready to be done with this. I know this sounds absolutely outrageous, but I was ready to throw this entire video away just because I put the pulled pork in the oven an hour late. That's how much it means to me. And sadly, I did not choose a video of the day. Well, that's all right, because things were picking up because tomorrow is going to be the most exciting experiment of them all. Day six? Yeah. Today is the last experiment and we're going to try and post a viral video. How the hell are you gonna make a, f a viral TikTok? Do not ask me how I have access to sheep. Since most videos on uh, on TikTok are quite stupid, I think I can make a pretty funny one with these guys. What do you think? I think it'll probably do well. Oh, stop eating me. I took some inspiration from these kinds of videos, but I had a plan to make it my own original format. I've seen so many stupid videos blow up on TikTok, so I think this one would do pretty well. So I started recording and they were pretty confused, but they got the spirit. And after a while I was done. Time to edit now. Video is done. I have no words. You you just gotta watch it. So stupid that I think people would actually like. Well, we're gonna post it right now and see. See how it does. We will check back in if it went viral or not tomorrow on the final day. But I gotta clock my minutes in for the day. I started seeing so many more videos I liked and it was giving me extremely long videos like six to 10 minutes. I was actually enjoying myself watching the app and it felt like the For You page caught up with who I am today. And I started to think that TikTok really isn't that bad after all and went for a walk after I finished my minutes. It is the end of the day. I did all my minutes. Here's the video of the day. I don't even think I have one. Actually, my own video is the video of the day. People need to stop saying this app is so bad. It's not. Yesterday, I, I felt about felt like I was quitting. I, I thought this app was the worst thing in the, in the entire world for everyone. And it's, it's just not. I was overreacting because I was mad that I forgot about pulled pork. The moral of the story is, TikTok's not bad. Wrong. So, so wrong. I went on for 10 minutes about how TikTok isn't actually that bad and there's actually a lot of pretty good stuff on there. If you take away anything from this video, let it be that. This app finally conformed to me and I started to love it and disregarded everything that happened before. It made me feel good that it was showing me videos I was actually interested in every single swipe and it changed my whole outlook on TikTok. And I am ashamed to admit that I started to like watching TikTok. It tricked me by showing me good videos and making me feel like they were important in the moment. But in reality, I was never going to remember them. It is actually scary how it could take over your brain like this. And with that being said, let's move on to- It's the final day! There's no experiment today, except for we, we gotta see if my video blew up. It did. I don't know how long they take to blow up, but I think I only got like 100 views and 2 likes. One of them was me. All I gotta do today, watch the TikToks and see if it has ruined my attention span. I don't think my attention span has decreased at all, but what I can say is that my memory, gone. It's, it's gone. Like this, this app is making me become a different person. It's not good. I will never be using this app ever again. I then went on to use the app one last time before exterminating it forever. Even though I hated TikTok before I did this experiment, I didn't really have a reason to. A lot of my opinions were formed by other people saying how bad it is and how it's a detriment to your health and it will kill your attention span. I'll admit that I hopped on the bandwagon of hate and would secretly judge people for using the app. And I realized that that's not good to do. I wanted to do this experiment to figure it all out for myself and see what it does to a person. Now I know that the dislike for this app is justified and that it's not right to judge people for using the app because they don't know any better. They don't know what effect it has on them. So hopefully this video will show you and a lot of others every side to this app so you know what you're getting yourself into before using it. So with all that being said, it is time to answer the question everyone is here for. Will seven days of TikTok actually ruin my attention span?
There's no way. How did it decrease that much? It went down by seven minutes. Are you kidding me? That's really bad. I didn't think that would happen. Subscribe and have a day.